welcome back to another video so it's been quite a minute but me and just your nail addicts are doing a collab i don't think we've done one since christmas um but yeah we're going to be doing a chocolate easter egg collab so some sort of chocolate drippy drips um i was going to do cream egg i was going to do mini eggs but i've already seen a cream egg set and i literally seen a mini egg set yesterday from Natalie Mugridge <laughs> so I've changed my mind and I'm doing a kinder egg set um, my smoke alarm is still beeping it's had a new battery put in it and it's still beeping so we're gonna have to put up with that right so yeah I'm gonna attempt to do a kinder egg set I was gonna go out and buy a couple of kinder eggs and use the wrappers and stick the wrappers on I've seen quite a few people doing that with um, cream eggs but no, I'm going to paint it all. I'm going to paint it all. So, um, I don't think um, Kinder Eggs... Kinder is a UK thing, is it? I think it's worldwide. Um, but just in case you don't know what Kinder Eggs look like, I'll stick it up on the screen somewhere. So they're like orange across the bottom and white across the top. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start by giving these nails um, a coat of white. Right, that's them cured. I'm using this orange from GD Coco. It's number 829. I've got a few oranges, but I think this is the perfect match for the Kinder Egg. So, I'm going to put some of that on my palette. On my palette as well, I've got a black, a blue, a red, a yellow, a green from all sorts of places. The blue's from your Yogi. The yellow's GD Coco. The green's You Are Sugar. The red is Beatles. Oh, <laughs> So, oh, sugar! Got colours from everywhere. So, anyway, I'm gonna do the bit, the orange that kind of goes in a wavy kind of line across the bottom. Right, that's them cured. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mat these nails out. Um, but before I mat top coat them, I'm gonna wipe the tacky layer off because I've wrecked, um, I've wrecked some of my matte top coats by going straight over gel polish with a tacky layer because you still get some colour. Can you see some of the whites come off? And it's gone inside my matte top coats. So I'm just gonna get this tacky layer off all of these I think you all know by now a lot of us find it easier to paint over a matte surface I think it's because the paint doesn't spread out as much on a matte surface it kind of stays where it is I think I'm no expert but yeah your brush just glides over a matte, a matte top coat so much easier right so we're gonna get this these words kinder surprise I didn't know whether to spread it over three nails or two nails but I think I'm just gonna spread it over these two nails or them two no, we'll do it over these two. This is definitely going to have to get speeded up. 
because it's going to be so tedious and slow. Right guys, that's my writing done and cured. What I want to do now is, now Kinder chocolate is is like white kind of creamy chocolate with brown milk chocolate on the outside. So I want to do some drips on these nails, but I want to do them in white chocolate. I've got this Azure, it's almost white, it's really, really light, light cream. But I'm just worried, I'm going to do the drips in glossy, but I'm just worried they're going to look too white. <laughs> and I've also got this from Yayogi, this is from the nude colour series, but that's got too much of a, I don't know, just a bit of a pink undertone. So I think I'm going to do it with this one, and if it turns out to look too white, I'll do an outline of milk chocolate because that's what Kinder Egg is. It's white chocolate with a milk chocolate outline. But I want the drips to be 3D. So I'm going to use a builder gel to do my drips. Never done it before. I've just recently seen Natalie Mugridge doing drips with builder gel. So I'm going to have a go. I don't think this brush is going to be good enough. But we, we can try, can't we? So, I'm going to start with a dollop there. I think I might need a shorter brush or a dotting tool maybe. Right, my builder gel is too thick. I can't use it. So, I'm going to use builder in a bottle and try it with this. Because I think this is going to be easier than the builder gel. It's just too thick. I can't do it. So let's try it with this. It's a bit of a thinner consistency, isn't it? Builder in a bottle. So let's try it with this one. Try it with the small brush first. Right, so here we go. Let's try again. Right, if I can get that to come off my brush. Right, and then I'm going to try and just pull it up the nail. Like that. Right, let's do another.
Right, I'm going to cure that in the lamp for 30, 60 seconds. Oh no, I'm not with that in it. Get out. Yeah, I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. I'm going to do it on all the nails and then I'll decide what colour I'm going to put on them. Right, whilst them drips are curing in the lamp, before I forget, because I've already forgot once, on the bottom of the wrapper, on the orange bit, on a Kinder wrapper, it's got like a little drip kind of thing. So I'm going to quickly do that before I forget again. Just like that, like a little drip. And then next to the drip, it has just a little dot of a drip. Like that. So I'm going to quickly cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. Right, so that's all my drips done. I really struggled with them. <laughs> one of my builder gels was too hard. One was too soft, but we've got them done. I'm really happy with them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this tacky layer wiped off because it's got a tacky layer. And then I need to decide what colour I'm going to do the drips. Right guys, I decided to go with a chocolate ombre. I liked the white chocolate drips, but Kinder Egg, it's not just white chocolate, is it? It's milk chocolate as well, so gone with a bit of an ombre. That's what I think a Kinder Egg would look like if you melted it. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do now is obviously these have got tacky layer on. So I'm going to go over all these drips and the writing with glossy top coat and that'll be then finished. Okay guys, that's them finished. What do you think? I really, really like them. They look tasty. <laughs> I can't wait to see what Jo comes up with. I will leave Jo's video pinned in my comments so you can go over and see what drippy drip nails she's come up with. But I really, really like them. I'm glad I went with the ombre on the drips. I was going to leave them white chocolate. Then I thought, no, because it's not just white chocolate. Kinder Eggs milk chocolate as well. And then I was going to outline the white chocolate in the dark chocolate and I didn't like the look of that so I went with this and I'm glad I went with this because I think it looks quite nice. It just looks like what a Kinder Egg would look like if you melted it. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for today guys. That was a long one, let me tell you. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel with your notifications turned on. So you never miss an upload and hopefully I'll see you all in my next one. Take care. Bye.